Hi friends, um, today I'm here to show you another video of a quick card that I'm putting together with my Sizzix products. And the dye that really inspired this card is the very cute, uh, funky flamingo. Um, and that's where I started this idea from. And uh, the saying, you know, there's that saying that says, um, be a flamingo in a flock of pigeons. So that's also the inspiration that I'm using for this card. Now the very first thing that I'm going to do is just cut out all of the pieces and then I'll show you how it's all going to go together. Now I'm using um, my Sizzix Big Shot Plus and because it's got such a huge platform I think I'm probably going to be able to cut out lots and lots of these pieces um, all at once. So I've got some scrap paper um, because when you're using dyes, of course, the best thing about it is that you don't need a lot of paper. You only need scraps. So I'm using pink, this pink for the flamingo, because that's fairly obvious, right? And I'm just going to start lining them all up at once. All right, so I didn't plan that well, because of course it goes backwards. Will it fit? No. So let's cut him that way. In fact, you know what, I really want, um, you know, there's this beveled edge on the dies and when you cut them face down on the color, it leaves just such a nice edge. So I am going to make sure that I cut out this pink so that I can use the die face down. All right, let's start again. So that's my flamingo. And he's got two parts to his wings, um, the under bit and then the over bit. I'm thinking the under bit, which is this little one, will work. I'm going to cut out a little bit of this pattern, this stripy pattern. So that one's there. And the over part of the wing is going to be a darker pinky red. It's going to be this bit. So that bit goes there. So that's the flamingo part. I'm also going to be mounting him on an oval base. So I've got my um, oval frames here. And firstly, I want to use the biggest one to cut out the base that he's going to sit on. And I'm nearly filling up my platform. So I'm going to cut them first. Sorry, bumped the camera. All right, so I've got an oval. I need to put all of these bits in a separate part, don't I? And my flamingo cut out very prettily in the pink. And did I bring my... I use um, like a poking tool sort of thing to get these out of their dies and I didn't bring that with me so excuse me in a minute I'll go and get that but I'll keep on cutting. The other part that I want to cut is a frame for the base. So again I'm going to use the ovals and I'll use two that fit together nicely and I'm going to cut that out in this wood grain. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Don't ever be alarmed by those cracks, right? So the first time my husband heard me do this, he was very um, alarmed that I was somehow breaking it, but that's just the plastic going through the rollers and I've never ever seen one break. All right, so there's my wood grain frame. 
And even then, like I'm left with lots of scraps, right? So I can easily use that for something else. And the last part that I want to cut out is the word flamingo. Now I've got this, uh, this Sizzix die, which is a Tim Holtz one. And these are like marquee letters and they're super cute. And I've already pulled out all of the letters that spell flamingo. So you didn't have to see me going through because there's like, there's 102 in here. There's 102 dies and they're all like, there's repeats repeat letters and stuff so that you can spell out whole words all at once if you want. Um, so that would have taken me a little bit of time to fiddle through all of those. Now I'm going to, I want to cut out these letters in that same pink that I cut out the flamingo um, with. And so I'm, I, you know, cause that pink pat, that pink paper that I used had a pattern on it. So I have to just line up, um, all of these uh, on a piece of the paper that doesn't have the pattern. Now are these all going to fit on that part? Probably not quite. So cutting around that white bit, there's some pink bit there and I've just got my F and my N to go. So I just need one more pink bit. So this part all looks messy, right? But the end result, nobody is going to be able to tell how you made this, like all of this, these little messy parts that go into it. They're just going to see the end result and it will be all pretty and pink. Okay, so I'm definitely going to go and get my poking stick thing. I'm not sure if it's um proper name so that I can get all of these letters out and all of these dies and I'll come back and show you how we're going to put this card together. All right, so that's all my pieces cut out and you can see I've also um, just printed out a sentiment um, on the computer on just on plain white cardstock and then cut that out and I'm now just going to assemble it so I will start off by putting the flamingo on I've already put just some double-sided tape on the back of these pieces and I'm going to build it up here on my background so make sure that you put the underwing part on first before you put the overwing on. <laughs> like that. And I, um, I changed it a bit. So you know I said I'm working on that sentiment that says you are a flamingo in a flock of pigeons. Well, I don't have any pigeon type of uh, embellishments, but I do have chickens. So I changed it to say you are a flamingo in a flock of chickens. And I've got a chicken stamp, so I've stamped out a bunch of chickens and I'm going to just um, layer these up on my background here. I've cut out lots and lots of chickens because of course we're aiming for a flock now I'm not concerned at the moment that uh, they're hanging off the edge because in a minute I'm going to trim them off but I do want to make it look like there is a flock of them so I'm putting lots on. And I'm just sticking them down with some glossy accents as glue because I use that a lot for my little fiddly bits and pieces. So that's going to be the background. Now this is going to go on over the top as a frame. So I want to just trim off these little bits that are hanging over the edge and the easiest way is to turn it over um, so you can see the bits that are actually hanging off the edge and just trim. And again, I'm going to put some glossy accents around the frame.
and stick that in place. Again, sometimes the easiest thing is to turn it over so you can help line it up correctly. Alright, so I've just got some plain white cardstock as the base of my card. And that's going to just go in the middle but towards the top because I need room down the bottom for my sentiment. Now before I stick him in place, I'm just going to figure this out a bit. So in a flock of chickens is going to go down the bottom and flamingo is my main sentiment of course. I think the M is about the halfway point so sometimes I start um, in the middle and then work um, you know either way around it so I'm just going to stick these down with that same um, glossy accents And you don't need a lot because it's quite a strong glue and it's quick drying so that's why I just I love it for these types of projects. Now it looks like I haven't quite judged the middle appropriately so um, I all I needed to do was have enough space for Flamingo to go across um, the bottom like this. So what I'll do is I'll now trim off that part of the card so that it lines up properly because I'm a bit of a stickler for making sure it lines up. Um, so I'll do that later on but I just want to show you how the rest of this card is coming together. So the frame bit of course then sticks on. I've put some foam tape on the back of these sentiments and they're going to overlap on these bits. And the last one down the bottom. Now I appreciate that it is going to just um, crop off the bottom of these letters but I think sometimes um, you know that overlapped look is great and even if you can't necessarily see the whole extent of the letters you know exactly what it's going to say because you can see the flamingo there so your brain or works it out you know. Um, now I'm probably just going to finish off in my favorite way which is to scatter a couple of sequins um, and I'll glue them on in a second so maybe these are going to go up the top here. And I think that's going to be it. So as I said, I'm just going to trim off the edge and that's my card. Bit of fun um, and all started with the idea of this flamingo die. I love getting inspiration for my products and just taking it from there. Thanks for joining with me today and I'll see you again later.